The Roland Merrick handicap chase is next three miles and one furlong naught to one ten. Philly Eagle at the top for Matt Cooper, the go-between and Master Owen for Martin Lynn, Marsh Tit for Graham Clutterbuck, winning Brillant and Classic Chance for Cherry and Linda McMahon for Matt Cooper. A field of seven for this one then. And then away and racing, the big Boxing Day race at Weatherby. And they're heading off towards the first of the 22 fences they've got to take. Bit of a gold cup trial in real life, not so much so in the SO world. It's a 0 to 110, and they all jump that safely, but slowly. And Linda McMahon over the second, in the lead. that's the first ditch. And there's a fall there, March Titter's gone, so Graham Clutterbuck's horse is out, which basically leaves two Alex Cherry horses, two Matt Cooper horses, and two horses for me. And it's Matt Cooper's Linda McMahon who leads into the fourth. Mistake by Master Owen, who's seen that one drop to the back. That's been a big disappointment so far this season. It was supposedly a gold cup horse, but he's been absolutely useless. They passed the winning post, then they've got two circuits of the track to go. Uh, Linda McMahon is going to cut across to the fence now for Matt Cooper. And leads towards like a hunter, this isn't it? With the go between second and winning Brillant third, and Finny Eagle is fourth. Classic chance. And finally, Master in the back marker. Heading up towards the next end. Linda McMahon is in the lead, leading by a good four or five. Oh, that play one in. Oh, and another four there, and it's winning Brillant that's gone this time. So Alex Cherry's down to just one now. Difficult to see why these are all rated under 110 on the jumping we've seen so far. And Linda McMahon is now six to seven lengths clear of the go between and Philly Eagle as they get over the seventh. In comes Classic Chance and Master Owen as they get over number eight, which they all get over okay. And Linda McMahon, the bottom white, clearing the lead. For Matt Cooper over this ditch. I'll jump that one much better. Into the final two miles they go. And Linda McMahon in the lead by six or seven lengths to the go between who's now second. They hit a Philly Eagle third. Classic chance on the inside is fourth. And Master Owen is just the back marker. As they turn back into the straight, I think. I don't know what that is over there. That can't possibly be the grandstand, can it? There must be some sort of car park or something. The grandstand's going to be in this part of the track as they get over the 10th. It doesn't look like a grandstand, but it isn't. I'll tell you that definitely because we're coming up now over this ditch. That's number 11, and you can see that's a 2 4 pole, so we're definitely in the home straight. Let's see if we can get a look at what that building is when we get around the other side hopefully the cameraman will switch angles and we get to see it from the other side I bet he won't but he could if he did I think he's going to be an office block or a car park anyway they get over to the 13th and Linda McMahon is in front from Master Owen to the go-between then Philly Eagle and classic chance as they head out on their final circuit there's only Matt Cooper watching this anyway because Alex Cherry is involved in putting the race together, so he's probably seen it. Um, obviously, I'm commentating on it, so I'm watching it as well. So, you know what I mean? The only other, other person listening now, or the only person listening after it's got to be put out, will probably be Matt Cooper because nobody else will be interested. And Graham Clutterbuck would have given up by now as well, but he's watching it because he's also fallen. I mean, he's involved in putting them together as well, so he's probably already seen it as well. So, just you and me, Matt, as we head off to the next. The 14th. Uh, Linda McMahon in the lead still. Not the go between and Master Owen are closing in second and third. Then comes Philly Eagle and Classic Chance as they get over at the 15th. Over the next they go, Linda McMahon surrenders the lead for the first time to Master Owen 
Who's gone on? He's been a big disappointment so far this season, Master Owen. He's fallen quite a lot, so that he's gone into the lead doesn't necessarily mean he's going to win. Still got four or five opportunities to fall over. It's Master Owen who's going to lead over this ditch. We jumped that one really well, though. The go between Linda McMahon Shear in second. Then Classic Chance and Philly Eagle. It's just a back marker, but there's only five or six lengths between the whole lot of them now. He wouldn't rule anything out. Especially given the fact that quite a few of these have had a tendency to get rid of the jockey. But now, Master Owen is kicking on. Well, he stands up, he's good. He's quickly gone six or seven lengths clear. Of stable companion, the go between in second. Linda McMahon is well back in third. Then, classic chance for the Eagle, the back marker. Again, over the 19th, still three more to take. And Master Owen is clear of the go between. And Classic Chance is in third over this final ditch. And Master Owen continues. Oh, Linda McMahon's gone at the back, so he's down to four now. And Master Owen over the second last. There's his obligatory mistake. And he got away with it. The go between is in second. Classic Chance is in third. Over the final fence they go. And Master Owen in the lead. The go between is in second. Come on, catch him up and get it. Give me two winners instead of one. I need the wins. Not going to happen. Master Owen's going to win it. Master Owen the winner. The go between second. Classic chance third. Philly Eagle back in fourth. So Master Owen takes it for Martin Little. Stable companion. The go between was second. In third was Classic chance for Alex Cherry. And fourth was Philly Eagle for Matt Cooper. And they were the only four that finished.